Hi everyone, Seth here at the Dimbongobe Ranch in Zimbabwe that practices holistic management. I'm here with a climate hero. I want you all to meet a climate hero. This is Heteropogon. Is that right? Yeah. Heteropogon related to uh, the blue stem grass in the States. And what's the technical term for that? Andropogon and, and, Girardi. Andropogon Girardi. So, um, so Heteropogon is a climate hero because this is this is called a high succession or a climax uh, perennial grass. Um, that means in the succession of perennial grasses, this, this comes later, uh, it requires good soil. The, the, um, the roots can go meters down. And this thing is a climate hero because it's sequestering carbon deep, deep into the soil. It's exuding complex organic molecules uh, through the roots and it's pulling carbon out of the air and putting it in the ground. And when you see this, you're looking at a climate hero because this is the only way that carbon comes out of the air safely uh, for decades to millennia is through the biological activity of photosynthesis and, and tall perennial grassland plants like this are, are one of our greatest allies in the fight against global warming. And here on the ranch, the entire area of what used to be highly desertified is now um, lovingly covered with these plants. And you could just pan a little bit, you know, the camera and just kind of just show uh, what it looks like. The perennials are everywhere now, and this is land that used to be entirely capped and desertified. So I just want to say to everyone um, out there in climate world, hello, this is a climate mitigation solution and we need to be reverse, reversing desertification all over the world. And the only way to do that on areas that used to have uh, perennial grass plants is to bring back the large grazers that those plants uh, require, and the grazers need to be managed in a way that replicates uh, wild ruminant herds. And when it's done, and when it's done right, the results are dramatic, and it works, and over and out from the public.